How can we create suspense in our films? First, let's take a look at the definition of suspense. Suspense can be defined as a state or feeling of excited or anxious uncertainty about what may happen. And in the works of fiction, it's defined as a quality in a work of fiction that arouses expectation or uncertainty about what may happen. So basically, it's the tension of waiting for something that may happen. Suspense is a great tool that filmmakers can utilize to create excitement, fear, and add entertainment value to their work. Whether you're creating a horror film or just an action thriller, creating suspense is an important part of the filmmaker's arsenal. But how can we create suspense in our films? Let's first take a look at how to create suspense in a fundamental way in our stories. And then we'll take a look at other tools we can use to layer on top of that and make it work for an audio-visual medium. Alfred Hitchcock is arguably the master of suspense in cinema. Let's hear what he has to say on the matter, and then we'll go from there. In order to get suspense, you provide the audience with a certain amount of information and leave the rest of it to their own imagination. According to Hitchcock, suspense can be created when we give the audience information that might be unknown to a few or all of the characters on screen. Hitchcock further illustrates this point by saying that suspense is like two people sitting at a table discussing football, but a bomb unknown to the audience is under the table. The bomb goes off, killing both people at the table. While the audience was provided a few seconds of shock to this event, no suspense was created because they had no previous knowledge that the bomb even existed. They didn't see it coming. Knowledge and information is the key. Now if we play the same scene again, this time giving the audience previous knowledge of the bomb under the table, we can have the people sitting at the table talking about football, dragging out the conversation, and make the audience squirm with anticipation. Then we can even subvert expectation. The bomb never goes off. We relieve them of their stress and tension. So we can deduce that a simple way to create suspense is to give the audience information, leading them to think that something will or could happen, foreshadowing things to come. Author Dan Brown says that suspense is about making and keeping promises. You say to the reader, Keep reading and I'll tell you how or why it's going to happen. We can create suspense at the story level by making promises to our audience, things that they know will eventually come to pass. We can drag out the tension of suspense by waiting until the last minute to finally deliver on that promise, sprinkling little teases throughout that the promise will be fulfilled much earlier. We can also create parallel plot lines in our stories, having two or more characters that are connected in some way heading on a collision course towards one another. As the audience, we know at some point, going by the information that we've been given, that the characters will intersect with one another at some point. We just don't know when or where. Another way to create suspense at the story level is to withhold information from our audience. I know it goes against everything we've mentioned up until now, but it works. Secrets can also create tension in our audience. We're still using information to create the tension, but in this case, we're keeping the information to ourselves, not letting the audience in on the secret. To illustrate how this can be achieved, let's say that a character is searching for a box in an old attic or closet. As the audience, we know that they've been looking for this particular box, but we don't exactly know why. Finally, during their search, the character gets really excited. They find the box and start digging inside. Frantically, they pull out a photo from the box, staring in amazement and shock. The only thing is, the audience doesn't get to see what's on the front of that photo. We are left as the audience wondering what this big secret could be. And it's the filmmaker's responsibility to deliver on that secret in an entertaining way at some point.
How you weave and deal information out to your audience through the course of your film or story makes all the difference in how successful you can create tension and suspense. It's all about information. But filmmaking is an audio-visual medium, right? What are some audio and visual tools that we can use alongside our story-written suspense to help add to that tension? I'm glad you asked. One way that we can build suspense visually is to extend the scene. That's right. Give your character breathing room and time to anticipate, or your audience time to anticipate, what's about to happen. Slow, methodical pacing can really help build tension. We can also use depth of field to create suspense, but having something going on in the background that our character in the foreground doesn't see coming. Again, the audience can see what's happening, but our character in the foreground is clueless. The information that the audience has and the character doesn't creates the suspense. We can also use long tracking shots to help create suspense. We know something is about to happen to our character, but he doesn't. The camera follows the character for an uncomfortable amount of time. No cuts in the edit. This creates a more realistic feeling in the edit. It's like we are there with the character. Engaging our audience more can help create more suspense. Of course, music and sound can be a huge help when creating suspense. Whether you're slowly building up a droning tone or a single piano note to create suspense, or you make your scene as quiet as possible, letting the audience hear their own heartbeat. Audio tools are an important part of creating more suspense in your scenes. And finally, lighting can be a really important part of creating suspense in a scene. Our character in the foreground is perfectly lit, but something is moving in the darkened shadows behind them. The audience knows something is back there, but we don't know exactly what. If only we could let the character on screen know somehow. This is how we create suspense in our films. I hope you found this video very beneficial, and if you did, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for coming along on this filmmaking journey with me. I am Ryan, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.